Hello friends. Welcome to Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. Now the video is on bed preparation for planting vegetables. Land is prepared by using machines. But starting a small vegetable gardening and bed preparation can be done using simple gardening tools and hand. A good garden starts with a good soil and there's no better example than a vegetable garden. Now that you've got a little time to spend on your vegetable garden, here are some tips to make sure your it succeeds. How to prepare soil for a garden. You can grow some crops in clay and you can grow some crops in sand. But most crops grow best in rich, crumbly loam soil teeming with earthworms and microbes. Amending the soil with compost and other soil builders such as shredded leaves is one way to gradually build up a productive soil. Tilling. Tilling is a great way to break up the soil and incorporate soil amendments as well to correct nutrient or pH imbalances. It is important, however, not to overdo it. Repeatedly tilling the same soil will result in a fine, powdery dust that dries up and packs hard like concrete when dry weather follows rain. Double digging. Double digging is an old practice for improving the drainage and aeration of poor soil. Basically, you remove a row of soil to a depth of about one foot, saving the excavated soil on a tarp. Then you loosen the hardpan subsoil in that trench with a spading fork. Once that is done you move to the next row, removing one foot of topsoil, depositing it in the trench next to it, then loosening the subsoil with a spading fork. You repeat this process until you reach the end of the bed, at which point you use the reserved soil on the top to backfill the final trench. The best soil for a vegetable garden and root crops. Double digging may seem like a lot of work but once it's done, you won't have to repeat it. And it's one way of making a bed more hospitable to root crops such as carrots. Of course, you could also search for a sandy site. Or build a raised bed and avoid the problem altogether. Irrigation. Vegetable gardens are highly dependent on moisture. A good soil mix with plenty of organic matter will, in fact, hold more moisture. You can also add moisture holding crystals. But irrigation is a good idea, especially if you're sometimes too busy to water by hand. A drip irrigation system is easy to install and keeps moisture at ground level where there's less evaporation and less chance of encouraging diseases with wet foliage. If the video is liked, please comment and share with all your friends. And subscribe to our channel, Discover Agriculture. Have a great day.